In a previous video, we demonstrated how you could create a flip card interaction in Storyline. And so this is what we built. As you can see, you select one of the rounded rectangles and it flips one time and shows you, in this case, the definition on the back side. Right after that video posted, we began getting questions about, well, how do you flip it back? And so this video is going to demonstrate how you can do that. For example, if you select this now, you'll see that the item flips back. So let's show you how to build that. We've left this one uh, untriggered, so we can pull that off and make that happen. So now we're back in the slide, and we're going to demonstrate how you can build that process. Now it's very important that you see the first video, or what I'm showing you will not make a whole lot of sense. So make sure you check out creating a flip card interaction, and then this video will help you learn how to flip it back. So I'm going to come to the layer of Asimus because that's the one that we have not. Well, I'll go to one of the ones that we have created and you'll see this is one of the ones we've already built. You'll see uh, the interaction here. It's showing you there's a uh, animation on each end of this group. And if you're not familiar with what we've done, again, check out that video. But we have an invisible rectangle group with another and that is giving us the illusion of the flip card. So we're going to show you that on the Asimus layer and you'll see here that animation has here. We're going to add the same swivel exit animation on the group. We'll leave the same default timing. I'm going to expand the group and you'll see the effect where we're creating the invisible rectangle is spinning multiple times and then the other item here only spins a little bit. So I'm going to drag this to where it stops at around two seconds. So we only see one swivel out of the uh, ex exit animation. And so then I'm going to add a cue point right here where my playhead happens to be. I'm going to hit this letter C and then add a trigger. I'm going to pause the timeline of this layer when the timeline reaches that cue point one. I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to add another trigger to resume that timeline. And this time I'm going to go ahead and have the group selected, add the new trigger, uh, so it automatically says when the user clicks group one. And I'm just going to say resume timeline when the user clicks group one. So basically we're going to show the layer. It's going to flip and pause. Then when you select the rectangle, it's going to resume the layer and flip. And then we want it this to exit. So I'm going to add a exit hide slide layer when the timeline finishes and hit close. Now if I left this as it is, it would work, but there might be a flash of nothing before it goes back to that um, base slide. So I'm going to copy this uh, starter uh, shape that we had at the very beginning of this. And I'm just going to do a control C to copy that. And I'm going to do a control uh, shift D as in dog to paste that. And I'm just going to bring it down here so that it also appears uh, so we don't see that flash of uh, something here at the end. I can just say show until the end here because it doesn't really matter since I have this layer set to um, leave. So I'm going to preview the slide and see if it works. Now when I select it, it shows the layer, and you see the flip. Now, I can select it again. This layer is currently paused. It resumes, and you see the flip, and we're back on the base. And so that's how you create a backflip in Storyline.